Welcome to Legal Futures Investment by Trustees webinar presented by me, Jill Steele of Law Skills Limited and recorded on the 14th of September 2021. Trustee investment or investment by trustees, it's one of those subjects where I think people get a little bit um, concerned if they're not doing a lot of this work. But trustee investment decisions and reviews of those decisions are really central to the work of trustees. After all, a trustee is doing a job which is to manage the trust funds for the benefit of the beneficiaries. And since 2001, when the Trustee Act 2000 came into force, the ability to invest more freely is very welcome. But the choice of investment still requires care and expertise, and we're coming into a very difficult period. Up to now, many trustees will have had what we call a balanced portfolio and probably used bonds and equity investment to trade off each other so that if there was a dip in one, the other would pick up and it would be a nice balanced portfolio. And this was a, a sensible approach for deflationary times. But we're moving into higher inflation. In fact, inflation growth is actually a little bit worrying. But unlike normal times when inflation creeps up and the usual lever to bring it down is to increase interest rates, the increase of interest rates is really rather unlikely in the current climate because governments around the world have borrowed so much money in order to prop up their economies. So there really isn't a, a, a keenness or a willingness to allow interest rates to, to rise because it would make the cost of that borrowing pernicious. So basically, um, the lever for keeping inflation down is not readily available. So I think we're moving more into inflationary times, which it's a very good reason why this topic today is quite important to remind us of our duties as trustees about investment because we need to probably be reviewing our strategic approach just now. So investing does require knowledge of the types of investments available to trustees and their appropriateness to a particular trust. So even though we obtain special advice from a qualified practitioner on investments. Nevertheless, to have proper conversations with them, we do need to understand some of the basics. So my aim in this session is to consider with practitioners the statutory and express powers of investment together with the trustee's duty as far as investment is concerned. 